Have you ever wondered why there are so many notations and ways to describe the current gain of a transistor? There's beta, there's HFE with a small f and e, and HFE with the f and e in capital letters. In this video, I'll explain what they are and the differences between them. First of all, let's look at what transistor current gain is. In essence, the current gain is a measure of how much the transistor amplifies the current flowing through it. It's a ratio that compares the collector current to the base current in a bipolar junction transistor. It's IC upon IB, as we see here. So first, let's look at beta, which is denoted by the Greek letter beta. This is a general term used to represent the DC current gain of a transistor. It's a dimensionless quantity that indicates the ratio of collector current to base current under specific conditions. It typically ranges from a few tens to several hundreds, depending upon the transistor type and the operating point. Next is HFE with the capital F and E. HFE is a specific parameter that represents the current gain of a transistor when the transistor is used in a common emitter configuration. Specifically, it's a measure of the transistor's ability to amplify current when the emitter is common to both the input and output circuits. It's typically measured under defined test conditions, such as a particular collector current and voltage. And importantly, it's the steady state, or some would call it the DC current gain. Finally, HFE with a small f and e. This is used to define the small signal current gain of a transistor. In other words, it's a measure of the transistor's ability to amplify small changes in current. HFE is typically measured at low signal levels, and it's often represented as a graph of HFE versus collector current, which you can find in a data sheet for the device. Even though we have these different definitions for current gain, it's important to remember that the current gain of a transistor is never very accurate. It will vary considerably from one device of the same part number to the next. Often a data sheet might give a range of values or a maximum or a minimum value. For example, a range of 50 to 200 would be quite common. So circuit designs must be able to accommodate these ranges but it's also very useful to understand exactly what these notations mean. If you need any more information about transistor current gain, then head over to the description and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.